Welcome to a long overdue episode of Doom Wad Reviews. Uh, I know in my last couple episodes, I uh, apologized for the delay even on those. And it's been several months now and uh, since the last episode. And uh, I gotta say, WoW Classic is entirely to blame for that gap. So I do apologize. I am not dead. Um, but uh, things are starting to calm down for me now in other gaming and obligations I have to my guild and whatnot. So... Um, uh, wanted to pick up with the series where we left off. Um, last time we took a little detour into uh, a wad that uh, I remembered from my childhood. This is the very first wad I ever uh, played, and that was 56, uh, following on the back of seeing 53 in the list here. So we'll just pick up where we left off. Um, I believe I was just looking at this flash wad, and I believe that this is mostly a death match. Yeah, ideal for death matches. Yeah. So we're just going to skip over this one. And uh, move on to Forest, which I'm going to assume Forest 13 text goes with this Forest wad. Um, so let's just have a quick look-see at the uh, the text file here. So made by Jean-Serge Gagnon. Uh, Gagnon. I'm going to guess that that's not pronounced Gagnon, but um, made by uh, Computer Service Tech. Huh? It's a three-mission wad, uh, so it's E2, M1, 2, and 3. So far, it looks like maybe there's maybe a newer version of it that has more levels. Um, just taking a quick look down some of the notes here. Looks like we may have some new textures. Um, they included their own demos. That's kind of nice. Okay. Okay, there's not really much going on in the file here. Um, so let's see if this uh, text file does in fact match up to this forest wad. So let's get things started up here. I'm just wait for the screen capture to pick up the game. All right, cool. Uh, and yeah, that would appear to be forest wad because there's the, uh, the author's name. Uh, interesting that they just kind of MS painted over the top of the... Uh, the id software credits um so uh let's go new game and we'll just see what we've got here okay so right out of the gate we appear and monsters have already noticed us okay pretty clean looking a little little plain but very clean looking Ooh. okay got some light coming in these windows that's a good sign. Now we've got a Baron already, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna wait for him to come close to the window and blow this barrel on him to do a little bit of damage, but I'm hoping that they will get a little in fighting going. So I'm just gonna go this way. Um, never was a big fan of using this texture as uh, a repeated, like, wall length texture. Um, Thought of, always thought it looked better kind of as a one-off. Ow. Oof. It has been a while since I played. So we've got some doors here. Um, missing uh, Unpeg on the uh, door track texture there. Also some very strange texture choices for the door stops, because these are door textures themselves. Uh, very plain room contains a red key card. Not much going on here, really. Yep, I had a feeling. Let's go ahead and set that off while it's still nearby. So we got a secret here. Secret taking us out into the courtyard. I'm just going to let these barons take care of business while I just run around and pick up some goodies. Yay! Vulnerability sphere. Don't really need that. So we got a blue key card in this secret. Um, so hopefully the blue key card is not something required to exit the level. Otherwise, that's uh, not really solid design to have uh, level flow hidden behind secrets. I honestly see no reason to fight these two. They're not going to follow me. And for ultra violence, I'm not feeling particularly threatened so far. Um, yeah. This is one of the problems with having such low ceiling heights in outdoor areas, which I, the sky texture is interesting. 
Um, I don't know exactly what it's supposed to... I mean, I guess it's called the forest. I guess that's a forest? I don't know. Very abstract-looking forest. But, yeah, having such a low ceiling height here means that this door is going to open up into nothingness. So... Hopefully they don't follow through. Yeah, okay, cool. And, um... So just going back out here, I've already got a blue and a red key. That just goes back into there, right? Yeah. Alright. Just take out as many of these guys as we can without going in there, because I have a feeling we'll be going in there eventually. So here's the red key. So this was just in the next room over. So we got something written on the wall here. Forest. There is a switch for this door near. Listen and run. Well, I mean, that doesn't look anything like a door, but okay. Uh, so... Very obvious secret there. And this just appears to be the exit, so... I don't know if this was meant to be a deathmatch wad or what. It said single player and co-op in the um, in the text file. And it did say the deathmatch was supported, but that didn't seem to indicate that that was the uh, primary use for this. Uh, a little sloppy on the textures. Um, so that's an exit. This is not also a secret. So we're just going to go back to the blue door. Yep, that's going to take us out to the uh, blood pools. Or if these blood pools for you to walk in. Yep. Okay. Uh, traditionally in Doom, blood is not harmful to walk in. Um, but a lot of people see, you know, liquid floor texture and they just automatically kind of assume that it needs to be a damaging floor when they're designing their levels. So... They claim that there's a switch nearby, and I'm not really sure... I mean, that switch must be out here somewhere where it can be heard. So let's have a look-see here. Was there any kind of switches out here? I don't remember seeing any. Oh, there's a switch. So maybe way back at the end of the hallway. It's hardly nearby. Uh, there's no way you can make this door. Yeah, there's no way you can make that particular run. in the time that it'll take that door to open. So that switch must have done something else. I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to work out the secrets of this level. Um, that switch stayed engaged, so it must have opened something or done something. Hello? Interesting. So maybe if I run back this way, will that door be open again? What caused that to open? Well, I'm not going to spend too much time worrying about it. Um, I think we'll just uh, move on to the next level. Same kind of aesthetic. This actually reminds me of... Um, <laughs> Interestingly, this start from just looking down this hallway with the little stair on the side gave me a flashback to uh, Barrels of Fun <laughs> from uh, Doom 2. Hello? Okay. So again, kind of plain. I mean, there's really nothing wrong with these use of textures. It's just not particularly interesting. Um, 
even Doom 1, as primitive uh, as the design and texturing of that game was, was a little more intricate than this. Um, got a red key door here. Obviously no red key. Um, so let's just... Uh, Uh, kind of a quasi maze like level. Uh, got a lot of very strange geometry, and this is going to back in on itself. Okay, we got a rad suit there. A door that won't open. Okay, I'm not going to grab that rad suit until I know what it's for. I admit I'm having a little bit of a hard time keeping track of all these strange hallways and bizarre geometry of this level, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, you know, disorientation is one of the tools you can use as a level designer to keep the player on their toes. Um, okay, finally we've got a little use of the fake Z-axis anyways, but a little vertical movement here. So I understand that this is called forest because of the new skybox, but I fail to see what much of this has to do with a forest. Again, we've got a new texture here. Watch your back when you go up those stairs. Can I assume a door is going to open behind us, or... Well, I don't know what you mean by watch your back. Everything was in front of me. anything spawn behind me. stairs, uh, or even any uh, change in elevation gets, the more reluctant a monster will be to step on it. So these particular stairs, they're so steep and so uh, narrow in their depth that it is basically impossible for a monster to choose to go up and down these. Um, so when you're designing levels, it's uh, a good thing to keep in mind that if you want monsters to follow the player um, through different elevations, then you need to keep the changes in elevation very uh, a little on the smaller side, and also keep each change in elevation, give it plenty of room for the monsters to maneuver, and they'll be much more likely to take those steps up or down. So let's hop down here and grab this. Key. Of course, that's also a tool you can use uh, to give the player some advantage if they are smart enough to work around it. Uh, you can use stairs like that to give the player an escape option. Uh, if they know how to use them correctly, they can use those stairs to uh, leave some monsters behind or otherwise uh, get away from a nasty ambush. Of course, in the case of this level, the ambush that opened at the bottom of the stairs was completely irrelevant because I was already well past the ambush by the time it came up. So, not particularly interesting. Although, I guess you would have to loop back through here, so... But it wouldn't be terribly surprising coming out right here and seeing things open. I mean, it wouldn't be that big of a shock as something opening directly behind you and you being immediately attacked. Um, well, anyways, we have the yellow key now. Looky, looky, look, we have a yellow door. Up in here. And we get to there by backtracking. Okay, so that did not open. Uh, so we have an auto map here, and it definitely looks like... Now, how is anyone supposed to know about that? Grab a new weapon now. Okay. Do 
wait, there's another secret here? Good thing we got that auto map, because these secrets are basically just mash on walls and hope kinds of secrets, which I particularly dislike. I like their elude at least be some indication of where secrets are, or some way to find them that don't involve just randomly mashing on walls. Slightly different textures, or maybe uh, an interesting little uh, waypoint in the geometry to indicate that there's something unusual here. Oh. Ow, stop it. Okay, so I hit a switch there that I missed the first time, which, if any luck, that actually did something. Nine secrets on this map. Now, the real question is, is how do I actually get back up into there? It looks to me like we need to go back around. This way. Not this way. Um, this way? So we've gone from uh, marble to um, more of a episode three kind of brainy texture. Do I need this? I don't know. I'm just gonna grab it because I don't think I'm gonna be coming back this way. This feels more like a single player map. So the first one felt more deathmatchy. This one actually feels more uh, single player. It, it would be a little too cramped to play as well. uh, a co yeah, cooperative. I mean, it's doable, obviously. But Again, very boring details. The architecture is not particularly interesting. It looks like it was thrown together very quickly. But it's playable, so, you know. And I don't see any obvious errors or bugs, so there's something to be said for that. Even so, I'd like to see a little more design detail on this. This could really be fleshed out to be something much better. The use of keys is not particularly expired. They tend to be, like, in obvious places, not too far from where they're meant to open. So how... Okay, I have the LP, but how do I get up there? Um, did we already encounter a red door? We did. So maybe the red door... Houses something that we need. So let's hop back down here. God, I got it. I've been playing WoW too much. I keep trying to hit M to open the map. Yeah, down at the end of this hallway. Maybe the red door has a switch or something that'll let us get up to that yellow door. Or maybe it'll just have an exit right behind it. Interesting that I had to hit that switch. So we got a teleport exit on this level. So I'm gonna... I'm actually not step into it quite yet. I want to go back and see if I can figure out how to get into the yellow door. Oops. I'm kind of navigating my map right now because I just want to make sure I go the right way. But... Geometry is definitely disorienting. Um, that is the one, I will actually mark that up as one of the, uh, the positives of this map, is it definitely keeps you on your toes, and that auto map is a godsend. Of course, now my uh, rad suit will have worn off, so I'm going to go through here really quickly. Luckily, it's not a super damaging floor. Light damage. I wonder when all of this opened up. I don't remember this the first time. Now, the real question is, how do you get up there? It looks like there might be a teleport pad that takes you up there and then you come back the other way through that door, but I honestly couldn't tell you where that 
is. So not going to spend a lot of time looking for it. Frankly, if it's too cryptic to find, then it's too cryptic to find. So I'm just going to head back to the exit and we'll uh, play the, uh, the last map on this one. Is this door? Yeah, I didn't think so. I don't get the purpose of this switch to open this door right here. But... Okay, so moving on. And good old E2M3, where they didn't have a uh, music track for the level, so they just recycled the title. Or the, the uh, intermission music. Track. The look of this hole right here reminds me a little of uh, E1M7. Ow! Stop it. Very eclectic use of textures in this map. We go from marble to, like, episode one nukage base, but we got some of these episode two wooden doors. Oh, no. Matrix is my way out of that one. Um, very strange like, countertop of the things. Ow. Got some tables and chairs here. strange to see, like, mimic a, a real house when everything up to this point has been incredibly abstract, to see something so concrete as a kitchen and dining room. Okay, so I really love putting barons in places. And I will say this, though, at least the barons are in places that are easily You're not, and I have yet to be forced to fight one. So, that I definitely have heard of. I have the option to fight them, I have the option to run past them, I like them. And they're still threatening enough because they're in areas that I have to pass through. I'm just not forced to fight them. Okay, so let's see here are the blue key. Just gotta keep an eye on that Baron to my left so he doesn't uh, put a hurt on me. Okay, so we're just gonna run past him. That just does not look good. So this is what it looks like when you have a normal ceiling texture visible from an area with a sky ceiling texture, and the sky is lower than the the roof. You get this weird, bizarre-looking over-render effect. It does not look good. But uh, that's neither here nor there. We've got some right on the wall here. This is my wardrobe. I keep neat stuff here. Up. This is definitely like a bunker complex of sorts. Still haven't found any keys, um, although we did see one. Got a computer area here. Now this this map just cannot figure out what style it wants to be. It's all over the place. Um, it's actually very jarring. It's like what episode am I even? So again, we got a Baron outside. Okay, well, that's concerning.
Wait, could I get outside here? Something was on the door there. Maybe a monster. Okay, well, looks like we've got a little area around the side here. Awful lot of secret doors that aren't marked secret. Oh, that's bad. And I haven't been saving. I am really out of the habit. So, uh, bear with me here. I'll try to rush through this. And of course, there's the one I just fell down into. That is a nasty trap to fall down there and be forced to kill yourself. Type area. I do believe what I did here the last time when I just ran around the building and went in a different entrance. So I'm gonna do the same here. And I do believe I went this way. Let me grab some armor here. There's some goodies in here.
haven't been doing because I hadn't really felt the need. So this opened up. So I'm gonna guess that something that I ran across in Lower Town that DFG briefly I really needed to make a run for it, although that could have been suicide, so... I just hope. A lot of door and lift triggers here that are a little hard to... Okay, no. That's... That's dirty. Just barely make it. Alright, cool. Just go ahead and save that. Now the question is, how do I get back in there? Oh, no, there's one way. Now, I would really like to exit this level. Um, I make that happen. And it is. So, thoughts on this one. Um, very, very plain designs. I mean, the usage of the textures for the first two maps were very plain, but they were clean for the most part. Um, the first map felt more like a deathmatch wad than anything, and maybe that's what its original intention was. But um, moving into the second map, it started to feel more like a single-player map. Um, The first and second maps were very linear. Um, I take that back. The first map was very linear. The second map was more crowded, and it kind of forced you to uh, go in certain directions. There was a lot of back and forth, a lot of backtracking in the second map, which is fine. Um, and then the third map was um, the most open of all of them, but it also had, in my opinion, the worst use of texturing. Um, and uh, uh, just overall design um the textures were just all over the place there was no consistency no theme um the actual building itself while large um and uh it definitely kept me moving around trying to figure out okay where haven't i been what part of this large complex have i not seen yet there was all very much on the same level there's very little use of elevation the outside areas were just plain boring with some trees and some monsters scattered around. Um, it was okay. On, on the whole, I'd give it a 5 out of 10. Uh, it was okay. Um, it kept me engaged enough that I was uh, trying to figure out... I wanted to figure out how to exit it. At no point was I frustrated or um, felt like I just didn't want to be playing this map anymore. Um, but again, I would have liked something a little more visually appealing. Um, but uh, on, on the whole, it was playable. Um uh looking through the lens of yesteryear I, um it it was okay you know it certainly didn't blow my socks off but um it, it was okay 
so there you have it. Uh, Forest Wad. Um, so just wrapping up uh, this episode and uh, time allotting. Uh, um, I will get some more episodes out. Of course, we are coming up on the holiday season. So um, uh, it may not be until after the New Year's. So uh, please uh, like and subscribe to keep up with the series. And uh, we will try to get another episode out as soon as possible.